welcome to another edition of This Week in YouTube, the show that's even more popular overseas than it is in America. I'm Leah D'Amelio. And I'm Lon Harris. Our top story this week, the President of the United States was attacked in Iraq with a pair of size 10 loafers. The President standing alongside Prime Minister Nuri al-Maliki during a news conference, suddenly a man throws not one but two shoes at the President. Hey, good duck, Mr. President. Aides later explained to the president that this is a great insult in Muslim countries and not an indication that the shoe thrower wanted to do it with him backstage after the press conference. The guys from Smosh have been replaced by imposters. Just to kill them and take over their lives? Yeah, girl. Think about it. They're the number one most subscribed on YouTube. All right, here I go. Oh my God, you beautiful. Oh my God, I look just like him. Oh my God, I can't wait to see mine. Oh, what the f Yeah, thank goodness no one's ever tried to take over our show. You said it, Leah. Hey, let's go see what the gang from Butt Pop is up to. What are celebrities' favorite videos? Hmm. Roll montage. He's a big guy, but he's like quick little legs. Like... At the end, he's like, f this. <laughs> Anybody falling is funny. You know us, we're always trying to one-up this show, so we went ahead and asked His Holiness, the 14th Dalai Lama, for his favorite YouTube video. Yeah, who would have thought the spiritual leader of Tibetan Buddhism would enjoy laughing at other people's misfortunes? Lon, are you sure you didn't replace Kundun's video with one of your favorites? No, I bet he also likes this one though. Don't jump. You hurt yourself. Hugh Jackman returns as Wolverine in 2009's X-Men Origins. Let's take a look at the trailer. I'm coming for blood. No code of conduct. So it turns out Wolverine is hundreds of years old. Perhaps that's why he struggles so much with ear hair. Your boy Shy City does not tolerate bugs in the crib. Yo, I'm telling you, I, I know I'm a grown ass man. I know I grew up in the hood and, and all that, but I'm gonna tell you right, I would rather come up in here with a gun than drop a, a What is that? What is, if you know bugs, what the is that? Shy is just sensitive on this topic because a bug cost him his last job. What really happened on that Thursday here at Augusta High School that led to Chris Wood's death? The f is that? I'm dying this f country ass f up town. In the interest of saving time, computers now allow us to combine all of our favorite inspirational speeches together. Will you fight? No! We will run! And we will live! Shame on you! This could be the greatest night of our lives. But you're gonna let it be the worst. Clearly, the mix has some glaring omissions. Cause life is like a mop. And sometimes life gets full of dirt and crud and bugs and hairballs and stuff. You 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 gotta clean it out. You 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 gotta put it in here and rinse it off and start all over again. And who could forget this rousing anthem from TV's Viva Laughlin? Don't you know I'm still standing better than I ever did? Looking like a true survivor, feeling like a little kid. Or this timeless sentiment from Samuel L. Jackson. We're going to pull together and we're going to find a way to get out of here. First, we're going to seal off this <laughs> And how many lucrative sales careers were birthed by these famous words? You can't close the leads you're given. You can't close. You are. Hit the bricks, pal, and beat it, because you are going out. Arlie Ermey's observations here are as true now as they were in 1987. You are nothing but unorganized, grabastic pieces of amphibian. Because I am hard, you will not like me. But the more you hate me, the more you will learn. But, you know, other than those, good list. Nat from Community Channel wants you to know that the mark on her chest is not a hickey. It's been a birthmark that's been confused for a hickey or a love bite ever since I was a kid. And I mean, I didn't even know what hickeys were. Ew, what's that? Oh, that's a mood ring. Apparently it changes color according to your mood, but I have the feeling it changes to body color. No, not that. That. Is that a hickey? Oh, 
I, I don't know what that is. Also, she's from Jersey, an escaped felon, a hologram, and plus, that camera isn't even hers. Kanye West accidentally sang while using his own voice on Saturday Night Live. So you never know, never, never know, never know we love till it's over, love, till we lose control. System overload. Also making a horrible mistake on this week's Saturday Night Live was Hugh Laurie, who agreed to host. Jenny's lover shares a horrible secret in the holiday classic horror, The Twilight Before Christmas. You have to see why I only come out at night. This is what I really am. Though based on a book beloved by tweens, the film has been rated R due to adult situations, elf-related violence, and graphic lap-sitting. Germany reminds us once again that nothing says Christmas quite like bunny techno. <laughs> Unfortunately, Santa never made it into this bunny's cabin because this sh freaked him the f out. Jim Jab took us to an elf hoedown. Yes, it's hard to believe, but that is what Santa sees every time he shuts his eyes. No wonder he stays up all night delivering toys. Well, that's it for this week in YouTube. If you liked what you saw, be sure to rate and subscribe to our videos. For Lon Harris, I'm Leah D'Amelio, reminding you that we're watching YouTube so you don't have to. We'll see you next time.